welcome to a new video and thank you so much for clicking on my channel my name is Nora and I'm so happy that you're here and now that you are be sure to subscribe like and comment by the end of this video tell me your favorite part about this video once you're done watching it um, so I'm super super excited because today is my birthday yes I am a Taurus girl um, and I can't believe I'm 27 today like that's crazy like I'm literally getting old I'm not that far away from 30 years old which is like insane but I'm super excited so blessed to see another year um, definitely don't take birthdays for granted, but yes, your girl is 27 today, and I'm so happy. Um, so today is May 16th, and um, my boyfriend has like dinner and stuff planned on later, but right now we're about to go get some lunch um, at this new Thai restaurant that we want to try. Um, so yeah, I didn't really get too dressed up for that, just because I don't want to like get dressed up now, then like get dressed up again later on kind of want to like you know kind of save that for later on for dinner and stuff so we're about to just go get that real quick um and probably sit outside or so it's gonna enjoy the weather um and just kind of enjoy the day so yeah we're about to go do that but i did want to show you my outfit of the day so let me show you that real quick okay so real quick the outfit is this aritzia like wrap mini dress that i got um maybe like a year ago or so um so it unties over here and then you can like kind of tie it up on the side here so I'm dressed with that and then just have on like my Zara bag that I got maybe about a month ago and then just throw on like my Nike hat as well, my regular like everyday jewelry um, and then just some sandals. So that is the lunch outfit of the day. Of course, I'm going to show y'all and like get ready with you for like dinner and stuff. But yeah, this is lunch and we're about to head out. to get ready for dinner um, I just did my hair I just did it in like a slick um, like bun and then um, I redid like my skincare and stuff just put like some hydrating serums and stuff just to kind of have a good base for my makeup and then I did my press on nails look at how cute super cute they're like a French tip um, but it's like an iridescent tip I don't know if you can tell but yeah super cute so I'm about to do this makeup um, hopefully all comes out right um so starting off obviously with my primer going in with the elf grip primer i do have the milk hydro grip but i find that the elf is actually tackier um so yeah i'm not trying to have my makeup move tonight so going in with that um and then i'm gonna go in with my concealer or actually, before we do concealer, I'm going to do my eyebrows first. Um, so I'm going to use my... Oop, let me go get it. So I got another five brow sculpt. Um, I had one previously, got lost. No idea what happened to it. Um, but I like to use this as my base for my eyebrows before I actually do my eyebrows. I know some people like to use it like afterwards but I don't know I find that it gives a good base to start for my eyebrows um, and then I'm gonna like smooth it down really quick with like my um, Anastasia um, eyebrow brush spoolie whatever so using the Anastasia like little dual um, eyebrow spoolie. I'm gonna use the flat side, so just gonna press it. Press, press. Then I'm just gonna shape it in my natural direction of my eyebrow. Okay. Then I'm gonna go in with my handy dandy precise brow pen um when it's a dry get a little tacky first okay so i'm gonna go in with my refi i mean refi my benefit brow pencil in the color five the way my eyebrows are set up i have to do like a little line just slightly just because there's really no 
definition as you can see um so i have to kind of create that but nothing too crazy just a little line to kind of give some definition to my shape and then the rest is just going in like a hair stroke and then i'm going to clean it up um, with like concealer and stuff but for now we'll just do that and we are done with the brows. Like I said, I'm gonna clean it up later. Um, but right now, I need to go in with my concealer and stuff. So that can kind of sit. I'm trying to make it a good habit of like cleaning my makeup as I go and not just leaving it out everywhere and like overwhelming myself when I get home and I have to like clean it all up. Um, so I'm trying to get in the habit of like use it and then put it up. So I'm going to do my concealer um i'm gonna use the Too Faced born this way concealer this is in the color maple um for like dark spots but i'm trying to think if i should use my color corrector first so let's see all right so i decided i'm gonna do just a little bit of color correcting before i go in with the concealer just because I find that it helps to mask the dark spots a little better. So this is the Black Radiance HD Corrector in the color orange. Um, I also wonder if peach color correctors would work for my skin tone or for dark spots, I guess. Uh, just using just a little bit because like I said I am going in with the concealer still so um, this is just to kind of help add another barrier I also have this really harsh like burn mark that I got from using a topical analgesic um, that had like a like menthol and like camphor and stuff like that so I put it on my skin I went to sleep normally sleep on my left side and I woke up with a very intense burn mark um so now it looks like I have a natural contour but not in a good way like you know when you contour with a shade that's too dark for your skin that's what it looks like um and then on this side just a little bit I feel like most black and brown people have like this natural like contour hyperpigmentation in this area I don't know why that is I don't know if it's like the sun I don't know but I feel like everyone that has or struggles with hyperpigmentation has like that kind of natural contour in that area um so then I'm going to go in with my Milani make it last just to kind of water down the um color corrector a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with my concealer so I look you need another brush for that, but it's fine. Um I'm just gonna slightly tap it in just so it's not too too harsh. Just a little bit. Using color correctors is a low-key scary because I feel like wrong application and it'll make you look orange or red. So I honestly don't really use color correctors that often. I tend to use like concealers really to kind of cover like dark spots, but um, I don't know. I wanna try to see if this is like a new little um, routine that I can do. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with maple over those same areas. Just kind of tapping it in honestly. So I just put the maple concealer all over um, and then I'm just gonna do my eyebrows really quick this is the LA girl pro concealer in fawn um, so just a little bit on the tail and then a little bit on the edge that's too crazy um, but they don't want to overdo it 
then cleaning up the front just a little like that So now that we're done with that, uh, I just put like setting powder everywhere, translucent setting powder. Um, looks crazy right now, but now we're about to go in with foundation. And I'm doing Estee Lauder Double Wear in the color Maple yet again. Um, this is the 5 and 1.5, so it's a neutral shade. So we're just going to go in with that. And then I'm using, um, this is just the It Cosmetics, I think it's their foundation or complexion brush, something like that. Um, so yeah, just about to use that all over. Hopefully I won't have to use too much since I did conceal, but then again, those dark marks are going to do what they want to do, so we'll see. show you my outfit so this is a top that i got from zara um it's a size small and i'm not sure if it's supposed to be like one of those like hanging off the shoulder but i just wore it like this um has like a little drapey like cleavage um, um it's kind of like a cropped uh like length and then these um skirt is also from zara as well um this was also featured in my haul that I did as well and then just have like my little like strappy heels um but yeah this was the outfit of the night hey guys welcome back to a new day um so today I'm running some errands I need to go and um, drop off some dry cleaning um and then I need to go and get my anklet fixed um I have this anklet from Jenny Bird it's the Francis anklet 
um, and it's just a little too big for my ankles so I just want to go and see if they can have the link some links removed um, I'm not sure if taking just this one off would be enough um, so yeah I need to go do that um, and then I did want to see if I can stop by that crate and barrel outlet um, in my last vlog I mentioned that I may stop by but I didn't end up going so I want to see if I can stop by um, today just to see what they have there are mixed reviews on it but I kind of want to go for myself and see um, cause sometimes people are just like nitpicky when it comes to things so I just want to see if I can find anything there um, so yeah that is what's going on today but I need to take my pre and probiotics before I forget the brand that I use is um, Aura Organic Aura Organic is the pre and probiotic that I use absolutely love it this is their high potency version they have just a regular version as well um, if you don't need something that's a little more potent but for me if they have a version that's more potent I'm just like why not so that is a supplement that I take and then I take some other supplements as well like ashwagandha and then they have like a harmonious which is like a hormonal balance one as well um that's also a really good one but overall just really like their brand and um the fact that their ingredients are like um you know like really potent and just like quality ingredients um especially if it's supplements that you'll be putting into your body so definitely a fan of that okay so for the outfit just keeping it real simple um i have on my yankees hat um the brand is i'm a leon door um just like my regular like jewelry and stuff and then this is the skims um shirt and then these shorts are from target i think they're like their sculpt um five inch seam high rise shorts um super comfortable i don't know if you can see it all the way but um they're high rise and really comfortable um, i like the fit of them this is in a size small then i just have on my um gold metallic 97s as well um but yeah that is what we have planned for today um and so i'll be bringing you all along and kind of getting into a day full of errands i was going to go to the alterations but then i realized i have to try on every piece of clothing and then they have to kind of like pinpoint where i want it altered and i just i don't feel like doing all that so we're just gonna save that for another day i already have a good amount of stuff that i have to do today anyway um but yeah and then for the scent of the day doing tangerine boy by fleur um and then bubble bath replica uh, makes them more jealous so yeah that is the scent of the day so let's go I mentioned that i also need to go to target and pick up some like essentials and stuff um then we can go to the crate and barrel outlet um let me make sure i have my list i love the target app if you're not using the target app and you go to target regularly definitely get it and also get their little red card um it's like five percent off each item that you get or five percent off your entire purchase and then i believe the return period like the return window is also extended um they don't pull like your credit or anything like that it's just like a simple little like register your phone number email um and then like the card that you use um but i use it every time i go i mean five percent is five percent i'm gonna if i can save money i'm gonna save money okay um but their app is also really convenient as well it helps if you need to like create a list um like you can create a list and it will tell you ignore my little jank tempered glass but it'll tell you like the aisles and stuff when you make a list um that way you can just kind of run to it really quick and also if you need to get an item but you're not really sure exactly where it's at it also will give you like a little map as well to show you like exactly where in the store and it'll tell you where you're at at the store and as you're walking it's like walking with you it's pretty cool um so i use that as well um so you just need to pick up a few things um oh no i forgot my gift cards <laughs> oh shoot i got some freaking gift cards that i meant to bring and use <sighs> Of course, this is how my day is going. Of course. Ugh, I'm so upset. I literally had $75 worth of gift cards that I wanted to use. And I'm trying to think if I should go back home and get it at this point. No, because why? Why, 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 why would I forget? Mm. 
I was trying to rush out the house and like get all my clothes, make sure I didn't forget anything for the dry cleaners. And then of course, I forget that. Of course I did. Ugh, it's fine. We'll just go and I'll just use it next time. I mean, hopefully I don't find anything cute that I really want to get, but then again, it's Target. We'll see. So yeah, about to head there and I will catch up with y'all. Um, once I'm in there, I'm not sure if I'll bring the camera or not since I'm grabbing some things. If, if I do, then obviously you'll see that. But if not, then I will catch up with y'all when we're about to go to Crate and Barrel. We just left crate and barrel outlet um and i'm actually glad that i went um i feel like a lot of people forget that the term outlet is that name for a reason like they're not going to have brand new pieces in there some of it actually look pretty brand new but for the most part like it's going to have some scuffs it's going to have some marks whatever um if you're a diyer that is like heaven for you because they have a lot of pieces that you can probably just tweak for a little bit and then repurpose it for your personal use or resell it um whatever the case is but um, there were some pieces in there that I liked. They had this um, like dining chair. It was like a beige um, like dining chair. Um, the stainless steel one that I showed you. And then they had this mirror. Absolutely loved. It was like a black, almost like um, almost like an arch mirror, um, the black one. But of course, of course, it was sold. Um, customer had already picked it up. So. Yeah, they de definitely de had some good pieces. I would say that um, it's definitely worth looking around to see if you do find something. There were some couches. I mean, we don't need a couch, but there were some couches if we were still on the hunt for one that could have possibly worked. Um, and they were still pretty clean as well. I mean, you may have to go and get it, you know, like clean, like upholstery or whatever. Um, but for the most part, I'm definitely glad that I came to kind of look around. It's definitely a place where you kind of have to know... Um, like when they get new inventory in i think they also had a sale going at the same time as well i think it was like 30 percent off like the lowest marked ticket um but yeah i definitely say it's something that you should go explore for yourself and at least look around and see if you can find anything sometimes the internet can make you you know just not want to do something just off of like reviews and stuff but if you've been wanting to go and look at it um i definitely say go and look at it and check it out and see if you find anything because you never know but yeah, I just finished that. Um, I picked up some player bowl, their acai bowl. Um, I love a good acai bowl. And their quality is really good there as well. Um, so I got that. And then I'm about to go get kava for lunch. And then I'm going to head home. Um, and I will talk to y'all when I get home. All right, y'all. So I just got back. Um, like I said, I went to kava on the way back. Um, let me show y'all what I get at Kava, actually. Um, so I always do the create your own bowl. And for my base, I do saffron and arugula. Um, so I do both. And then for my dips, I do the harissa and then the red pepper hummus. Um, then for the chicken, I always do extra honey chicken, the harissa honey chicken. Um, honestly, when it comes to any like create your own bowl places, I always do extra protein because that single serving is stop playing with me. Um, so yeah, I do that. Then what they be asking? Um, toppings. So I don't know how um, each kava location does it, but for my location, I basically do everything in like the first two columns. So that is slaw, corn, cucumbers, tomatoes and onions, tomatoes and cucumbers, 
and I think that's it. Then for the dressing, always do sugar and lemon herb tahini. So good, so fire. I don't know why it took me so long. Well, actually, I know why. Um, when it comes to places that I haven't been before, I always like do a crazy like research. I like look for pictures, for food, like reviews and all that stuff. So when it came to the kava, when it first started like popping up everywhere, I did reviews and the reviews were crazy. They were like 2.8, like three stars. I'm like, what is going on? Like people were complaining about like the service um like the portions and stuff like that and so that just really steered me away from it i never tried it um it wasn't until my boyfriend was like oh let's try it one day so we got it and i've been hooked ever since like i'm paying their rent at this point um so yeah that's what i got and then like i said i got playables which is basically like a acai like smoothie place um i got their pura vita bowl and it comes with um blueberries strawberries and then i added chia seeds i wish they put some more they just kind of sprinkled it on there but whatever um and then i did extra granola at the top and on the bottom as well so yeah, that's my little snack for later um then like i said i went to target of course the anklet that i was supposed to go get readjusted is literally sitting here on the counter anyways um i went to target and just got some essentials and stuff i did get um white paint and like a little um like finish for it i ordered these frames from ikea i don't know if you've seen like the little viral like tiktok diy art wall thing where they kind of buy like the frames from ikea and then they'll get like a print and then they'll put it inside um so i ordered the frames the problem is ikea frames they only come in black or aluminum both of which do not go with the theme of our house so i got some white paint that i'm gonna spray it down with when it gets here i'm gonna like sand it down and spray it down so i'll probably show you how i do that and then i need to find like a digital print that i want to have printed out um in like a canvas form and then i'll put it up there um if i can remember i'll put like a little video of like the um diy project that i'm talking about it's pretty cool then i picked up the notorium um salicylic acid body spray i have the topicals um spray but i want to see if i can possibly kind of like mix the two like maybe start off with this one and then do the topicals on top because i don't think the topicals has salicylic acid in it um but yeah definitely a must have for the summer and then i picked up this little like linen spray room spray from casa luna at target um it's clarity is the name of the um smell and it's a grapefruit and ginger I've tried their candle before. Ooh. It smells really good. They need to make this a perfume, actually. I mean, I'm sure you could probably just use it as perfume. Like, perfumes are just essential oils, which is basically the same thing, but it smells really good. Um, this is the Clarity, and it's ginger and grapefruit. So yeah, I'm about to eat um, and kind of settle in for the day, um, and I will catch up with y'all later. Um, I wanted to show you what I got at Anthropology. Like I said, it's my first time going, but they had like a really um, a lot of really cute things. So I got my nippy skin. Um, these are the adhesives that I use when I don't want to wear a bra, aka 99% of the time. Um, this is in the Colo Coco color <laughs> in the size two. Um, I find that a color that's like maybe a shade down. Um, from my skin color works better especially with like like color clothing like this one like a white um, t-shirt or like a cream t-shirt this is in a size two and these are for d cups um, i normally get the size one which is for a to c cups um, but hopefully it will still provide coverage and it might actually be better just because depending on like the size of your areolas i think um, is more important than like the actual size of like your bust um let me see if i can open it and kind of show y'all what it looks like okay so i just got them open by the way they are 26 dollars at anthropology um you can also find them at nordstrom um but just to kind of show you what they look like so like i said this is a size two um so it's ideally for like d cups and this is in the cocoa color so it's slightly darker than my shade but I find that it works better for lighter colored clothing because um, if it's too light then it's just going to be visible when you wear something so this is how they are um and basically they have like the adhesive on them 
and you would just place them here um i may have to just kind of work with these because i didn't have the size one that i normally get but these should still work honestly um so yeah you just kind of place the adhesives on your nipples um and then just go about you know wearing whatever like tank top or light colored clothing that you have so i got that and then like i was mentioning earlier they have like a lot of really cute jewelry so some of the jewelries that i got um, I got this like really cute bracelet. Um, it's like a gold, almost chain like bracelet. And I love the way it fits my wrist. I love a good bracelet watch. It just kind of sits at my wrist and doesn't really like slide up or down. So I got that. This was $22.95. I believe it was on sale. It was originally $32. So we love a good deal. And then if you know me, you know I love a chunky hoop. So I got like some chunky hoops that they had. These were $38 um, and they're not too heavy, but they definitely feel quality. They don't feel like cheap or they're going to like tarnish pretty quickly. So this is how they look. This is a chunky hoop. Um, then I got like another set of like smaller chunky hoops. These are just so pretty. So this one is um, almost like in the size of like a huggy. It's like a dual hoop. And then this one has um, some like studs in them. And then this one also has some studs in them. So super cute. Love their jewelry selection. Um, I did see the ones that everybody was talking about, like the Bottega dupes or whatever. Um, they just looked super long and too drapey for me. When it comes to jewelry, I definitely like jewelry that just kind of sits on my ear, like the ones that I have in now. Um, but yeah, this one. And then this one also has, I just realized it also has some um, like studs in there as well. So those were the jewelry that I got. I also picked up the Vacation Body Oil. This is in the um, their Chardonnay Oil um, SPF 30. Um, it's water resistant for up to 80 minutes. Never tried this brand, but I love a good body oil and especially if it has SPF, definitely has my name all over it. Um, so I picked this up there. They also had um, some nice little like fragrances collections. I believe they had, they had Fleur. Um, and then I think they also had Toka and then like their own brand and like some other ones um, like Ellis New York and stuff like that. So um, like I said, super cute store um, to just kind of find like little unique things. And then this was the dress that I was saying that I got that I didn't really want to get. Um, this is in a size small. So it has like this back um, kind of like cross back, um, a little opening and then it's like ruffled on the sides like i said probably won't keep it um i tried it on and it was fine but i don't know um if i want to keep it so that was all i got at anthropology let me show you some of the things i got at zara okay so change up my angle just in case i decide to try them on um so the first thing i got is this like linen um sort of like cropped shirt so it has like buttons and then it has like an open like deep v-neck um, and then it kind of has like these um, short like drapey arms. So let me try it on. I might just try it on over the shirt, honestly, because I don't feel like taking off all my clothes and trying it on. So let's see how it looks. Like I said, I didn't try any of these on at the store. So I'm not too sure how they look, um, but this is the shirt. It's just like a super casual like flowy linen shirt. Um, I think it'll pair really well with like some shorts or like another like linen pants um, that are kind of in the same material as well. Um, but just love how casual it is and like weight, um, especially for the summer. So this was the first one. Okay, so the next item that I got are these, um, I believe also linen um, pants, black pants in a size medium. Um, let me try them on and show you how they look because I too have not tried them on. So we'll see if I even keep it. Okay, so this is how they look on. Um, like I said, they're just like some casual, like flowy pants. Um, I actually really like the fit of these. I've been looking for some like casual black pants to wear. And yes, I still have my shorts underneath. Like I said, I'm lazy trying things on right now. Um, but it's a wide leg, but not to the point where it's like too, um, like bogus like I hate wide legs that are just way too like 
out of proportion. Um, but it fits really nice. And this is in a size medium. And I think I'll actually keep the medium. I don't think I was contemplating getting the small. But I think the small might actually be a little too tight. I still want it to be breathable. And this is really cute. Like I could pair this with like a nice t-shirt. Um, honestly, you could probably wear it with a t-shirt like this. Honestly, just kind of imagine me not wearing the shorts underneath. But just something super simple um, with like some sandals or whatever. So I actually really like these and I think I'm going to keep it. Okay, so the next item that I got is this like green again with the linen um but linen is just so perfect for like spring and summer anyway um but it's like this green linen um like midi maxi skirt um it has a slit on the side and this is in a size small uh, i'm not sure what's going on with the waist here i'm not sure if it's just supposed to kind of slouch like this or if it's just too small but i mean this is already a small and extra small would absolutely not fit my thighs so um yeah this is how it looks I think, I don't think it's bad. I just, I'm trying to figure out like what I would wear with it. Um, but then again, it's supposed to be super casual anyway. So probably like a white top. I don't know if it would look good with like this top. Like imagine me wearing this. But I don't know. I feel like I need something that's like a little more tight at the top since it's more of like a flowy, like long, loose skirt. Um, so maybe something a little tighter at the top would make it look well. This is already pretty like, you know, oversized and loose, um, but it might still work. But yeah, this, these are the pants. Um, I'll have like all the references and links and all that stuff below. Like I said, I just got them today. So hopefully they should still be on the website or in store. Um, but so far, I think I like it. Okay, so last thing are these shorts that I got. Um, I really wanted just some like basic denim shorts. These are a size six and with Zara sizing, it can be a little finicky. So I feel like these are probably gonna be way too small for me, um, but let's try it on and see. Okay, so these are the shorts and they are way too short. Um, like my cheeks are pretty much hanging out at this point. These are a size six, they do fit really well. I just am not a fan of the way they cut them. Um, I kind of wish that they weren't cuffed or even if they were cuffed, maybe just a little bit longer, but it's just, it's just a little too short. Like I don't want to bend and then like my cheeks are out or, you know, wearing them casually somewhere. And it's just, um, it's a cute color and a cute wash. Um, I'm a fan of denim in this like wash, but i um, just a little too short and just, um, not the cut that I was looking for. But, um, other than that, everything else that I picked up is pretty good. So I would say we did good for not having tried them on. Three out of four isn't bad. So yeah, that's everything that I got at Zara. Right, so that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you all so much for watching and sticking around and spending a day with me and also celebrating a little bit of my birthday with me as well. Um, I can't believe I'm 27. It's definitely gonna take me a while to get used to that, but we're growing individually and we're growing on here as well. So if you wanna be a part of that, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Tell me your favorite part about this video and I hope that you stick around and join the community as we continue to grow. Um, but until then, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.